Hi, it's Gab with another review from TIFF, the Toronto International Film Festival happening right now, early September, in Toronto. This re review is of a film called The Illusionist. Now, please not to be confused with the film from a few years ago starring Edward Norton as a magician. Uh, this film is about a magician, but it's a foreign animated film. Um, it's French and uh, it centers on a character who is an illusionist. Uh, he's a struggling um, magician who used to perform on stage, but uh, this is sort of in the 1960s. Um, his style of entertainment has fallen by the wayside in popularity, and so he travels uh, from town to town taking small jobs at, at parties and in pubs and wherever he can to make. Um, a few uh, a few bucks to to keep going, um, and he comes to a small town where uh, a young girl uh, becomes sort of enamored with him. She believes him to be uh, truly magical and ends up following him, uh, sort of stowing away and following him um, when he leaves this town and, and moves to the next location, which is which is more of a big city. Um, so it's sort of a uh, she's a sort of an orphan character and it becomes sort of a father-daughter type of relationship. I should uh, point out that there is barely any dialogue in this film. So uh, the story developments and the relationship um, progresses just through um, obviously the visuals and the the score and very sparse use of the odd uh, phrase um, and utterance here and there. Um, it looks beautiful. The style of the animation is a very sort of old-fashioned European uh, pastel um, sort of contemplative look to it. Now these filmmakers are the same who uh, previously did the triplets of Belleville. If you're familiar with that, um, that will give you some idea as to the style of this animation. And it's just a very contemplative uh, soft, uh, somewhat touching story of the relationship between the man and the girl. However, not much happens uh, <laughs> plot-wise. Uh, there are very lovely scenarios, but not enough for me to sustain what was almost an hour and a half running time. To me, this should have been a short film uh, with a series of vignettes. Um, the, the, the beauty of the animation, for me, did not sustain uh, the story. Um, I found myself, to be honest, bored um, in, in many stretches, and uh, the overall feeling at the end of it was um, that it just left me somewhat flat. Now, I am uh, certainly someone who's much more entrenched in the mainstream animation that really dominates uh, the cinematic, uh, the animated landscape these days, the movies that I take Max to, and uh, for better or for worse, I am more used to that style of storytelling, um, the pace and and the, uh, the whiz-bang, if you will. So um, for me, uh, I've struggled to um, categorize this film in a, in a way that, uh, that worked for me, and I think that would be the same with the majority of the mainstream animation fans, but if you like different kinds of animation, foreign, quieter, softer uh, storytelling uh, through animation, I would recommend it. If you'd be able to find it in theaters, that's hard to say, but if you um, are interested, uh, if you are familiar with Triplets of Belleville, then you might want to seek out The Illusionist. Uh, but for me, uh, as an overall entertainment experience, I have to give it only uh, three out of five gabs. Stay tuned for more reviews from TIFF.